Eric, did you hand out the channels? Okay, so most of you should have on your desk, you'll have a sheet of paper that says this is your channel. Okay. With the sun's That was my boss also just told me that I shouldn't worry about this. Some help. Yeah, I'm gonna say this. With the sunspot. Yeah. This is the sunspot. You can see how big it is. Up, we have, I believe, 13 proctors because I was a bit nervous about how this is gonna work out. Around. Around. Yeah. And we have a, a CD for the lab and some information. Hopefully it'll go well. I'll let you know on how it is. <laughs> See it up on the screens now. Um, it's really pretty cool. It doesn't have the sensor package that the trackpad does, um, so we're looking forward to moving to those when when it's when they're up and running. But for now, we've been doing our work by it. It's the one that has a weak network connection and is trying to correct the problem. Um, and after a while, you'll see the rest of them will start moving to try and correct it too. Meanwhile, if you look back up on the screen, you'll notice that the interface to Spotlight is showing those five bots. So after David turned them on, um, they register in with the interface and show you what's going on, uh, giving the MAC address there, and then it's also giving real time. So we've just done a midlet for the sunspot that has the accelerometers on here responding to the. Um, it changes the light. It's going. We're at the Job One conference, and this is the sunspot demo or lab, and this gentleman's kind enough to help me manage this uh, thing. This is a base station sunspot, and it's talking to this track bot right here. Can you see that? And let's see if we can get that. It is so cool. Thank you very much, sir. You can send messages to everybody else just like the other ones do. And so it just totally integrates very cleanly. So this one is one he's designed. It's got actually two sonars well, for, for kind of distance ranging. And then you can find the right so you can track this.